A few years ago, back when I was at BCIT, I made a video on this YouTube channel talking about former Vancouver Canucks center Ryan Kessler and how Vancouver Canucks fans should not boo him. Upon his return to Vancouver and his impending appearance that he was going to do during the Sedin's retirement night. It was a conversation back then, February 2020, should fans cheer, should fans boo. Kessler in this time frame was doing a few interviews with local media talking about how sorry he was at the way in which his Vancouver Canucks stint ended. If you're a bit younger and you don't know, Ryan Kessler was a two-way monster with the Canucks. He was a Selkie winner. He was a 40-goal scorer in 2011, part of the reason they even won the second round series against the Preds on their way to the Stanley Cup Finals. But Kessler requested a trade. The way he left Vancouver was really ugly. He only won wanted to go to a contender, he wasn't happy with the way Vancouver was losing, and because of how ugly things got, he wanted to make amends and express his frustration and guilt over how things had gone a few years ago. That was great. When the Sedin's retirement night happened, we cheered for Kessler. It was kind of overwhelming, actually, to him. You could see how emotional he got when the Canucks fans cheered their heads off for this guy. But now, it's three years later. And we're talking about yet another former Vancouver Canucks two-way center who is making his return to Rogers Arena. And the new debate has been, what do the Vancouver Canucks fans do when Bo Horvat comes back to town? Cheer or boo? This has been a big conversation that I honestly feel has been a lot bigger than it needs to be based off of what people in the media, what people on social media, what people on the radio are all saying in regards to Bo. Oh, he disrespected the Canucks fan base. You have the right to boo him. Oh, he didn't disrespect the Canucks fan base. You shouldn't boo him. He had nine great years here. He was the captain here. He did this. He did that. He did all this crazy good stuff for the community. He was a team first type of guy. Bo Horvat was a leader, etc., etc. Cheer him, boo him, whatever. It's been a pretty big debate, and I'm going to be honest, I'll say my opinion right here before we get into what this video is really about. I know it's been a long intro, but bear with me here. It's called a tease in the business, kids. If you want my opinion, cheer Boo Bo Horvat, I'd say do whatever the heck it is that you want. Because at the end of the day, it is your hard-earned money that is going to be used to get you into the arena. The Bo Horvat era definitely wasn't the epitome of success in Vancouver. Sure, they made the bubble playoffs and made some damage there, but... This is completely different from the Ryan Kessler situation. Kessler wanted out because he saw the Canucks were on the decline. Bo Horvat wanted out and ended up dropping a super hard WWE-style promo on them afterwards, which was very disrespectful in the eyes of many fans. So if you wanted to say that in particular is the reason why you're going to boo Bo Horvat tonight, hey, do whatever it is that you want. At least for Kessler, the guy was super insecure and anxious about how he would be received, and you could tell there was a genuine place in his heart where he wanted to be accepted and ratified from the Canucks fan base after apologizing so much for the way he left Vancouver. There was an honesty there that I think Canucks fans appreciated. Plus, he was legitimately a beast, one of the best players the Canucks have ever had. Horvat wasn't that. So that's my two cents on this. They're not really the same situation. But of course, this video, the title, the thumbnail, it goes over a very particular idea, how Bo Horvat reveals the truth about Vancouver. And to help us out, we're going over onto Stefan Rosner's article on the Hockey News from yesterday, going over Islanders Bo Horvat's comments on returning to Vancouver back to where it all began. The link is going to be in the description if you want to go ahead and read this article, but it opens up here by talking about how Islanders forward Bo Horvat returns to Vancouver, the place where it all started, as the Isles battle the Canucks Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, obviously you circle it on your calendar, Horvat said, to go back to the city where it's all started. It's always in the back of your mind. The article then goes over the Bo Horvat stint, what he did with the Canucks, how good he was, etc., etc., the numbers and everything. If you want to get the numbers out of the way, then okay. I mean, the guy had the career year last year of 31 goals in 49 games, played 54 points too. He was on a 60-goal pace at one point during last season. This year, though, he actually is the most productive Islander on the team, 11 points, 13 games played. Definitely not like the 100-point caliber guy he was at one point last year, and you could debate whether or not his production and his usage warrants the $8.5 million AAV contract he's got that goes on till 2031. But the article also brings up some comments made by Bo Horvat after the trade initially earlier this year. Before stepping foot on the practice sheet, the Islanders locked up Horvat to an eight-year deal worth $68 million. 
when you're told one thing and the opposite happens and stuff like that, a lot of stuff that went on obviously didn't sit well with me, Horvat said back on Saturday. But it led to me being here in New York, and I couldn't be happier to be here. My family loves it here, and I love it here. The article then follows up with the, yeah, I mean, it's been unbelievable here, it's a lot better than Vancouver, I'll tell you that for free, comment. Canucks fans, as expected, took it personally, which wasn't Horvat's intention. I didn't mean any disrespect to the fans of Vancouver or my teammates or the city. It wasn't directed at them. The fans were all excited, and I was excited to be in a playoff push. It was just one of those things where my emotions got the best of me. Now, this is where the article talks about Bo Horvat's comments in the present. I have no idea what kind of reaction I'll get at Rogers Arena, to be honest with you. I think some of them were pretty upset with what I said last year. The fans took it more personally than I wanted them to take it. Obviously, the comments I made were not directed at them, it was just more me being upset with how everything went down last year. And of course, with that idea in mind, it's a lot easier to accept the comments because it's like, yeah, I mean... The Canucks didn't really win anything when Bo Horvat was the captain of the team. We all recognize that the captaincy of Bo Horvat definitely wasn't, like, a super significant highlight in the Vancouver Canucks 53-something long year history. But Bo does go out there and say this, I couldn't be happier to be here, but just the way everything went down beforehand with all the media stuff and how myself and my family were kind of treated, it definitely stung a little bit. Something I didn't forget. I said what I said. I'm just excited to get back there. I started my career in Vancouver. I loved the city, the people, and the fans when I was playing there. I'm excited to get back and play again. So, Bo Horvat essentially is saying that he did kind of feel a bit upset with the way the fans tossed the mud back over to him. Which I'm not going to go out there and say is the fans' fault in particular, because the way he made those comments definitely could be misconstrued as him throwing mud in the first place. But... At the end of the day, you know, that guy's making $8.5 million. He's living with his wife, his kids, and in a very nice house in Long Island, so I don't know if things are too disappointing for the Horvats and their lives. But when it comes to the Canucks, though, nowadays, the article then has a really bad spelling mistake. Ooh, that's not a good one. There are two, actually. Backed by Quinn Hughes's Norris Trophy start. Yeah, I said Quinn because there's double I in there. Not right. And then it says Elias Pedersen. Yeah, no, there's double S on the Pedersen, not one S. Yeah, not great, the writing here, but the article does say that Pedersen, Hughes, Demko, they've all been good, to which Bo Horvat replies saying, yeah, they do have a great team. They're playing really well right now. Obviously, Demko's been playing unbelievably too. I've always thought of him as a heck of a goalie. They're off to a great start. They've added some good pieces. They obviously have Husey and Petey and Besser's having a really good year so far. It's nice to see those guys doing well for sure. The bond between teammates, that emotion from battling day in and day out is something that words can't mimic, especially for a player who spent close to a decade with an organization and teammates that he loved. I definitely keep in contact with those Canucks guys quite a bit. Get a text here and there. Stuff like that. Seeing how they're doing and keeping tabs on them, it's good to see they're doing well. And so... Maybe you could say the article in this, in which Bo Horvat gets his thoughts out there, is sort of clearing the air. This is an opportunity for Bo Horvat to hopefully make peace with the Canucks fans who read the hockey news and wanted to get the two cents from the former Canucks captain as to how things are going now. Sure, I'll admit it's good to see that Bo Horvat is honest about the way everything went down last year. Like, yeah, he was upset with how everything finished, and then the fans going back at him, he wasn't a fan of that either. So now, with everything in the rearview mirror, he's just looking to come back, play some hockey, enjoy the city, enjoy the atmosphere again. And I'll say this, when it comes to the plan for many of the fans that are going to be in attendance at the game, I've been seeing more people saying that their idea of what they're going to do is more so just cheer during the tribute video, because, I mean, look, Horvat was the old captain. He has to get a tribute video sometime during the game tonight. Maybe that will be the opportunity for fans to pay their respects and say, yeah, thank you for nine years, Bo. Thank you for being the captain. Thank you for coming over in the Corey Schneider trade and doing your thing. And then, once the game gets going, boo this man every time he touches the puck. 
it'll be interesting to see what happens and to see what the fans in the building end up doing. If you're going to go to this game, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. How do you feel about the Bo Horvat situation? If you're not going to this game and you're just a casual viewer, what are your thoughts about the way he responded to everything and how everything went down? We're going to make a post-game video after the game is over. That is the protocol here. I am free tonight, so I have time to watch this game. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Bo. I hope you enjoyed this. Vrishash Rolls 99. And bye.